Hello everybody and welcome to iStore Meets. My name is Stefan, I'm the regional trainer right here in iStore Sand and Drive for tips and tricks on how to be more productive on your Mac. Some of the things that we will cover in today's session will be Finder, that file management system and how to go about using all the aspects in that feature on the Mac. Then we'll also have a look at Preview, where you can sign your documents digitally on your Mac through that application. And we'll finish it off with Mail, with all the aspects that you can use inside of that great application. Firstly, let's look at Finder. Now, Finder is where you have all of your windows and icons to show all the content that's on your Mac, including your iCloud Drive and some other storage devices. Now, it's called Finder because it helps you to find and organize all of your files. So inside of Finder, you will find it on your dock. You click on that and you immediately inside of Finder itself. Now you on the one side, you have all of your file locations and this is just your layout of all your files that you have. You have your larger icon view and on the top, if you click on that icon over there, you can change it to a more list type of view where you can get more information based on what type of file it is or the size of that particular file. You can also make use of column view where it gives you all your content in that list view, but the moment you go into a particular file or folder, it opens another column with everything that's on the inside of that folder. And as you keep on going, and finally you click on a file, it just provides you with so much more information based on that file itself. But the beauty of column view is that you can keep track of where you came from in terms of where you can find that particular file. And finally, we have our gallery view. Now in gallery view at the bottom, it shows you a large icon, but on top, it shows you a much larger version of that file. And even if you click on a file, it shows you that you can even scroll on the inside of that file to see whether that is indeed the correct file that you are looking for. To help you just be so much more productive in terms of your file management on Finder is to make use of tags. On our file locations on the one side, if I scroll down using two fingers on the trackpad, I can see all of my tags right there, all of my different color options. And some of my files, you will also notice that it already has got that tag or that color tag right next to that one. To tag any particular file, I'm just gonna use this My Song that you can see right here. If I right click on it, I can then add a tag as one of my options. Or I can go right there on top of my toolbar right there in Finder. I can select the tag option there as well and then go and add a particular tag for this one. So let's maybe say I want to add this into my training tag that I have right there. And immediately the moment I just click away, that particular file or music file, whatever the case may be, will have that particular tag. And you can easily go and rename any tag according to what you particularly want to call it. On the side where your file locations are based on tags, you right click on the tag that you want to rename, you scroll down to the option saying rename red, and let's maybe say that you have all of your APSA type of files that you need to allocate to this particular tag, so you can just call this one APSA based on those banking details that you have right there. As simple as that. By using tags, you will be just so much more productive in managing all of your files that the moment you click on a tag, it takes you immediately to all of those files that you tagged according to whatever you've set it. You don't have to print out any PDF document on your Mac. We have a fantastic built-in application called Preview. So if you want to fill out or sign an important document, you can make use of that great, great application. And through markup, you can fill it out, plus you can sign this document right here on your Mac. Let me show you how all of this is done. First of all, we go into any PDF document. I've got a motor car insurance right here on my Mac that I need 
to fill out. I double click on it and it opens it inside of preview. Now this PDF already is annotation friendly. So I just hover my mouse over a certain section and I can easily go and fill out this document just like that. But if that PDF document is not annotation friendly, you can go and add text boxes to immediately fill out this document. To do that, right there on the top of your toolbar of this PDF document, you will have a circle with a pen inside. Now that is markup that you are looking for. We click on that and there's multiple different markup options that is provided for us right here inside of Preview. The one that I'm looking for would be to add a text box. So you click on that A right there as top of your options and it drops down the text box that I can move into any place and I can then go and fill it out. Regional trainer. There we go. And I just move it into place wherever it needs to be. Now, I need to sign this document as well. Now, this is really going to be a great feature for all of you to make use of. Let's scroll down to the very bottom where I need to sign this document. Again, on those markup tool options that I have right there, next to the text box, I have a signature option right there that I can click on and now I can go and add multiple different aspects. First of all, I can make use of the trackpad to sign a document. So I just say click here to begin and then I can physically sign on the trackpad itself to actually sign the document. I press the escape button to release the mouse back to its normal capabilities. If I click on done, then I can go and add the signature. I'm just going to click there on clear because I want to show you the other options as well. Next to trackpad, we have a camera option where it accesses my camera. And then you just take a paper and a pen and you make that million dollar signature on that piece of paper. I'm just going to put there Stefan, there we go. And then you hold the piece of paper right in front of your camera and it will then capture a digital format of that signature that you can then make use of any time you want. You can also create smart mailboxes right in the mail application to automatically organize all of your mails based on the set of rules that you've set for that specific smart mailbox. Let me show you how to do this. We go into our mail application where we have all of our mails in one place. Now to create a smart mailbox, we go to where it tells us smart mailbox and I click there on the plus sign. Once I've clicked on that, I can call this mailbox whatever I want. Let's maybe say I want to call this one my iCloud mails. There we go. And then it needs to contain messages that match all, or I can say any of the following conditions. Now this is where I set all of my rules. Then it needs to be from, and it needs to contain any of the following rules. Now you can either use a full email address and all of those mails that comes from that particular email address will land up in the smart mailbox. Or you can just say that it needs to end with an at, whatever the email follows from that point. And it will also take all of those mails that is based on that particular ending of that email address will then go into that smart mailbox. So I'm just gonna call this one at iCloud.com. So any mail that ends with at iCloud.com will immediately go into that smart mailbox. And it needs to include messages from the bin as well as include messages from my sent items. And once I click on okay, it creates that smart mailbox and it puts every single mail that I have that ends with at iCloud.com right here in my smart mailbox. So it's easy for me to find that mail that I am looking for. We've spoken about so many great features that we can make use of on the Mac itself. So let's just have a short recap of what we've learned today. We went into Finder for all that file management capabilities that we can make use of right there in Finder, especially when it comes to tags and opening another tab, moving content from one place to another place. As well as we went into preview, showing you the capabilities to fill out a document, a PDF document right here on your Mac, as well as signing it so that you don't have to physically print out any document 
in that regard. Then I also showed you how to make use of smart mailboxes right in the mail application so you can easily find that mail that you are looking for. Thank you everyone for joining iStore Meets with me, Stefan. And don't forget to like and subscribe to our iStore Meets YouTube page as well as hit that notification bell so that you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. See you again real soon.